finally time, y'all. Time to get this damn cigarette infested fan cleaned up. Let's go. See, this fan is super dirty, super dirty. Like it's literally inside. Like I had to <laughs> open the cage. I gotta open the, uh, the, uh, the grills up just to get inside of there. <laughs> Give me a, um, give me a jacket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's coming along. I just didn't want to, you know, have this in my house. I don't have that many. I don't have that much room to clean this out, especially with this cigarette infested fan. The cigarette infested 3733. But. Gotta start somewhere because I have never clean, heavily clean a fan like this ever. Like, you're gonna, it's gonna come along real well. Got the screwdriver too, Phillips screwdriver. So, gotta start somewhere, but I'm gonna make it the best of my ability. Uh. Yeah, I have to open up the cage for this. This is... <laughs> this is like, what the hell? And the crazy thing is too, it still works. Like it literally still works. And I'm just like, wow. I'm about to say, you don't have to, what I usually do, I don't usually take them all the way out. I like leave them in there, but I don't know. Yeah, that could come out. Yeah. Sometimes, I don't know, but uh, the company, the Lasco company, yeah, you gotta like, there we go. It'll stick, those kind of screws sometimes stick into the grill, but they always come out, so. I'm like, shit, I don't have any kind of like, uh, what is it, cleaning, well, I do have some cleaning equipment, but the thing is, I don't have the right, like, tools. I don't want to do it outside, because it was too cold to do it outside, and where I'm at, it's way too narrow to fix, one, uh, to fix this. Fourth screw. Fifth. If Miss Mars wasn't over, I had a terror and the last one. Fifth. That, though, that one's going to stick it into the grill, but it's coming out. All right. Let me, all right. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I got I to gotta film this because I'm documenting it. That is so bad. That is horrible. It's like inches on there. <laughs> inches of cigarette smoke. Oh, my gosh. Huh? I felt uh, this was at a um was with my aunt and we was at um we were cleaning it up on uh cleaning up a house and I, ha I happened to find it so but yeah look at this how the hell I'm just trying to figure out how this is still alive this is raw footage of cigarette dust Y'all getting grossed out look, uh, looking at it. Sorry. Definition of why you should not smoke. This is crazy. I didn't even take off the front grill. 
I'm about to do that right now. I just need to get all this cigarette dust off of here because <laughs> there's no way, there was no way in hell I was gonna clean this inside <laughs> my house. Hell no. It's the last thing I want. That is crazy. All right, it should come off now. Uh, that's the left one. Like I said, you can just twist that off a little. Almost there. <laughs> Almost. Oh, um, even let me see. I'll say, let me see the grill. Even the front grill. This is fucking. I'm sorry. This is horrible. This is the aftermath of the back grill. This ain't, <laughs> look at that. All that cigarette dust, man. It's in towel. Try to get the rest off. Say more. What's up? Ooh, a better than it is. Way better. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> oh man, way better. Even though it's got to be washed, I don't. I gotta find some cleaning equipment to get all all this off. This is ridiculous. Do not smoke if you're washing this. It's even interested on the hub too. Oh my goodness. It's super stiff. But it works. That's the funny part. I'm gonna get some of this dust off of here because I am not messing with this. 18, y'all. Just like that. Yeah, be careful because the um, blade, no, the motor is locked up. And with one hit, that could just come off. Some of it's on the top, too, I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> no, don't blame me. You might have to turn it around. So that, uh, because the brace, uh, the motor mounts is in the way. Hey, hi! <laughs> Thing come out. Oh, yeah. well, it's, it's able to come out. I just need some like deep cleaner for it. I got uh, some degreaser. It'll come out. Yeah, like that uh, like the, uh, stuff you put on there, you know, push to put on, uh, bleach or something, mm -hmm. you know, put, put it on there. Yeah. But you look better than it did. Way better than it did. Still wouldn't run it though. <laughs> Way better. Thank, thank you, Cal. Cause 
I didn't know what to do at first. I'm like, I, should I do it? Should I do? Should I do it at my house? Cause I got allergies like crazy, but. And news. Yeah, news. Yep, that's number one thing. Like, like used to be right here. Yeah. Used to have All right, y'all. Uh, as y'all can see from the uh, from earlier, me, me and my uh, old and an old friend of mine, we got um. He helped me dust off the um, the like the putrid cigarette dust, the extremely thick uh, cigarette dust, and as you can see. This fan still has a long way to go. So I said, this fan had an extremely rough life. And unfortunately, it may never see its original color. Hope, but hopefully, excuse that, that's the washer. Hopefully, this dust can color, this grime, dirt and grime from the res uh, residue from the dust Hopefully this will all come off. Hopefully, because I have some some of this the uh, heavy duty uh, degreaser, along with a couple other uh, appliances. Um, so it's going. It's probably going to be a while. Probably going to have to wait till tomorrow because I gotta let the uh, the grease. Uh, get into the, the dirt and the dust and the grind. So I may have to just leave it overnight, but I'm gonna have to have actually because I gotta get this motor back up and running. It's, it's very clogged up, very clogged and very seized. There's little to no oil in there. I tried spinning it heavy, heavily, but nope. Well, not heavily, but like aggressively, like, yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna, um, take this apart and stay tuned and I will be right back. All right. All right. So I was able to get the blade off very successfully. Um, as y'all can see, I got a lot of work to do with this motor ton of work like you just see all the cigarette does built beside this motor but overall still need a lot of uh sweeping to do off this fan so i'm gonna go and do that because the grills are with the degreaser and well no excuse that thought i had to spray the grill the grills with the with the degreaser Wow. This is um the uh, fan blades getting the this oh, excuse me. <coughs> that stuff that stuff smells strong. Um the degreaser is working on the fan hub as of right now, so it should be done, but I just have to uh wash it off. As you can see coming off quite well. I can practically clean this right now, which I may decide to do in a few seconds, but stay tuned guys, and let me clean this blade off. All right, y'all. So I have some good news and some bad news. Most of it is on the bad news. Good news is, Cigarette residue most likely came off with a blade set, and it did on the uh, the motor too. I mean, I'm mean, not on the motor. Sorry, I can't speak tonight. <laughs> I'm tired out, but um, the frame it came out. Most of it came out off the frame too. So the bad, but the bad news is that the greaser I have is. Had shed the shed the paint some of the paint off, and that's not a good thing. Well, actually, it is because this fan does need to be paint. But besides the point, it's making the uh, 
inside of the uh, the paint inside of the uh, frame shit. So that's a problem. But on to uh, on the worst things. The motor, I meant the rotor and the bearing is glued up so tight. I tried pulling it off, with, um, but before I pulled it off, I put some 3 one motor oil in it. And it was still a little flaky. Like it didn't want to come off. So I put, I've had put more and more inside and this is what it caused. I don't know if y'all can see, but. Unfortunately, you can see the bearing, and that is an issue. That's a huge issue. So, and I haven't had any incident or well, have any freak shows lately. I say quite for some time, for like, in like two years, but this will be the first time in a long time where something. Just a uh, malfunction and uh, malfunction happened while cleaning the fan. So that means that I'm gonna have to part one of my Lascos that has this kind of uh, rotor, the rotor and the uh, motor shaft. So the front motor shaft, the the shell casing. So. I'll figure it out. I figure out figure out which fan I'll use because this is upsetting. But things happen, things you know, can't let it stop you. So I'll figure something out. I'll be right back. Alright, so I was able to get this motor back together, but unfortunately I had to part out a galaxy box. One not not the new ones that I brought that I, that um that I purchased last year, but Galaxy Box fan that I got from high school. Since I got like five of them, um, it's right here actually. Um, the rotor and the shell cases is inside that fan, which is won't be used a parts fan. I was gonna sell this fan uh, possibly on eBay. But some things just happen. Can't let it knock me down. But I'm gonna sell another one, another Galaxy fan on eBay. Probably one of the um, it's the fourth one. I think I might sell the fourth one. I don't, I don't know yet. But anyway, I'm getting off track. <laughs> so I haven't tested the, haven't tested this motor yet. I'm gonna put it in here. Um, for the most part, everything is finished. Um, that's drying off by the, uh, the 225. The front, uh, back grill is already, uh, dried off. Knob is dried off. Blades is dried off. Unfortunately, like I said, this fan has lost its color years ago, so just yellowed but I'm gonna put this uh, this motor together and I'll give it a video of the motor first to see if it runs great so uh, before I put it all back together so all right so I now have this hooked up and let's see what it does mm -hmm. It's a little stiff because I haven't used it in a while, but well, the rotor probably could and probably because it's in a new shell. But so I'm going to try actually, that's right. I'm going to put this fan back together and see what the final touches are. And here we are. This fan came out nice. 
despite it being discolored, it looks like there's a brand new fan in here. Well, excluding rust spots, but in the top part and the handle. Handle's not original, obviously. It came off the uh, the Galaxy. Well, an Air King at one time. An Air King I had acquired, acquired five years ago, but that's long gone, and that's another story for another day. Uh, the knob came out marvelous. So, I mean, this fan really did clean up. I'm proud. You know, as you see, obviously it's not perfect. It's still got a lot of scuff marks and some blemishes. It's not clean, clean though, as the way it should be. Uh, the back grill obviously isn't perfect. The cord, this cord is just, it's quite done. Well, not it's not done, but this this color is gone, like literally. So and you can to see inside the hub now, which is a great thing. And another problem, I found. Uh, I ran into earlier the shaft is cracked so I had to misalign it and put it on uh, a way that'll make it tighter onto the shaft but yeah the hub is the blade hub is done but I managed to like I said I managed to jam it on there Gratefully, it stays. But other than that, it runs fine. You can see inside the motor. As I said, when my um on an old friend of mine had brushed this off, it looked like the motor was brand new. So there goes to show you that cigarette damn uh cigarette dust is not actual dust, like dirt and grime or anything like that. I believe this fan wasn't even used in a uh, in a in a window. It's just just like cigarette damage everywhere. Sunspot, yellow spots, and probably was sitting in the sun too. But yeah, enough bickering. Here is low. It's out a lot of good air too. It runs like my uh, Lasco 3733 that I acquired in uh, October of last year. Media. Out of the box. 
Wow. I can say I am quite impressed. Even though things didn't go the way as it should, at least this is, this fan is back up, uh, uh, back up to where it needs to see a second life because it deserves a second life. Despite everyone saying, "Oh, it's cheap. Oh, you should have threw, you should have threw it away." Nah, it's deep as to why I didn't throw it away. But and overall. This fan right here is the exact fan that I had in my childhood. Um, a story from years ago, like 14, 15 years ago. Um, my grandmother had one of these. And it had this exact blade style. The, as I, what, I, what I call them, the diamond star blade because... It's the end, the mid, near the middle part, it clips off. See, it's to where it slopes like a diamond and it goes straight up, it goes straight up. And yeah, I call these the diamond star blade. And I had one a while ago and this fan was exactly like it, except excluding the cigarette dust. But it was dirty, but I cleaned it up and my, I asked my grandma one day, she was like, I asked, can I have it? She was like, sure, yeah, you can have it. And this was one of the first Lasco box fans that I've had. What, from 10 years back in my childhood, because in 2000 and, not at, I'm, I'm exaggerating, not 10 years, but less than 10 years, because in 2001, I had 37, 23. And, I accidentally, well, not accidentally, but I damaged the fan on purpose. I don't know why, but out of like a five, six, six year life lifespan, I never had a thirty. Uh, I never had a Lasco fan until I got one of these in two thousand seven. Uh, yeah, two thousand seven to two thousand eight for my grandma. So that's why I wanted to save it because this is the same exact fan that she had. But enough rambling. But that's just the reason why I wanted to save it. You know, it deserves a second life. Despite it being 20 years old now. This is an old one, the 02 model. This is a 20, 20 to 21 year old fan. And quite frankly, these are becoming, I don't want to, a lot of people may not agree, but these fans are becoming vintage. And for how much power they throw out, I. I, I, these these are definitely in the uh, vintage criteria. So, but yeah, and I hope y'all enjoyed this mini journey of getting this fan back up and running and cleaning it up. I have to spray paint it, obviously, but I probably won't do that for a while. I'm just glad I got this fan back up and running. And the Galaxy, I, I don't I don't know what I might do with it. I may sell it or give it to someone that has the exact uh motor for this for that fan so i'm glad y'all i'm glad that everyone that commented on my previous post uh wanted to see this fan get restored and it, here it is this fan is restored so i thank y'all for watching and i'll have some more videos up soon and stay tuned and i hope y'all enjoyed this video this long video <laughs> all right thank y'all